The save Satsuko arcs of Higurashi Kai and Higurashi Go were, in my opinion, the most boring parts of their respective arcs. I mean, it's basically, let's protest the bureaucracy. Uh, that didn't work? Well, how about doing the same thing again tomorrow, but with more people? It gets kind of old. Then in Higurashi Go, Oishi just seems to come out of nowhere and kills everyone at the very end with little explanation as to why, and so I wasn't expecting much from this answer arc, but I was pleasantly surprised. You see, I agree with those of you who said that the previous two arcs of Higurashi Sotsu were kind of a letdown. It just was kind of mechanical. Satoko shoots someone up with the injection, they go crazy, rinse and repeat. But this time around, Satoko is an active participant from start to finish, and so this arc actually overperformed my expectations. Two notes from the beginning of this arc. First of all, Satoko told Rika right to her face that she was suffering because she wanted to leave the village and go to some fancy school. I wasn't expecting Satoko to say anything even remotely that direct until the second to last world of Higurashi Go, which is when Rika finally had her epiphany. It makes you wonder why she wasn't able to figure things out earlier because Satoko appears to be dropping hints the whole time. Second of all, it seems that Team Aoa is able to spy on Team Hanyu through the fragments, which once again shows you how overpowered they are, and I guess that explains why Hanyu had to keep things vague whenever she met with Rika. One of my predictions was that Satoko's uncle had truly reformed, and that Satoko would have to lie to set him up, hashtag believe all women. But if that's the case, then why would Satoko's uncle beat Keiji half to death with a baseball bat? Well, it turns out that whole thing was one big illusion, and yes, that's kind of cheap, but on the other hand, that's what Higurashi does. You can't always believe what you see. But are we really supposed to consider the possibility that Satoko had magical powers all along, and that she was using those magical powers to make it seem to Keiji like he was being beaten to death by the uncle she had recently murdered instead of by Satoko herself? Come on. Another one of my predictions was that like so many strong, independent women, Satoko was done in by daddy issues. And that may still happen. I mean, here we have Satoko's feelings towards her uncle officially splitting her into her human and witch personalities. Now my question is whether this is simply just character development to establish her as a new witch, or whether this will clearly and directly lead into her ultimate loss. Now this could play out a few different ways. For example, her human side may battle back, and perhaps the opportunity to do this is caused by her taking the injection herself. Another possibility is that Aoi simply gets bored with Satsuko because she fails to put on an entertaining show by just pulling a gun out of nowhere even though Rika was clearly winning by proving that she loved Hinamizawa, so Aoi calls it game over. The final arc is going to be called Kagurashi Hen, and I'm not precisely sure what this word means, but it appears to be related to the final arc of Higurashi Kai, which is Matsuri Bayashi Hen. Now, both of these words relate to song and dance at a festival. I believe that any participant at the festival can perform a Matsuri Bayashi kind of song and dance, but it's specifically the priestess or the miko of the shrine who does the Kagura dance. So it sounds like the kind of word you would use for a happy ending. Well, we got four episodes left. Let's see if we get that happy ending after all.